Hi, Carl here, and I'm going to show a couple examples of my recent plasma sculptures. Um, these are wall-mounted sculptures, and they consist of a glass tube inside a socket that hangs on the wall. And here I'll turn on the blue one. Each of them has a switch at the bottom that allows you to turn on, in this case, 120 volt AC power. And uh, once we've energized that discharge tube, uh, you'll notice that an arc, an electric arc, travels in the gas in that tube. This particular one contains uh, krypton with a very, very small doping of iodine vapor. And you get this wonderful blue color as a result of uh, molecular iodine being excited by the krypton atom or ion which uh, sort of acts as a bowling ball and uh, excites it. So uh, another interesting feature here is that of course you get this nice convective chimney effect that carries the glowing gas, the, uh, the stream of, uh, of gas up with the rising with the rising heat in the arc. So this tube works very well mounted vertically and as you can see we get this nice lazy sinuous arc that uh, that climbs. Let me turn the other one on now. This one um, and again the switches are located on the bottom side. We just turn it on like that. This one contains a mixture of xenon, nitrogen, and oxygen and What's special about this is that you actually get to watch a noble gas compound form right in front of your eyes. Um, what we're seeing here in the way of this green color is the formation of xenon monoxide uh, from excited states, uh, from an excited state of oxygen that interacts with, with xenon. So, so literally this is, uh, this is light that's being emitted uh, as a quasi-bound state of xenon monoxide is formed. And of course, xenon and oxygen don't like to spend a lot of time together. The, well, one's a noble gas and the other is, although reactive, it's not that reactive. And so they, they do fall apart and nothing is consumed in either of these tubes. They will continue to operate like this essentially indefinitely. And um, you notice there they, uh, they complement each other quite nicely. Um, these have a self-contained RF power supply in the base. Um, the, uh, uh, they will run on anything from 100 all the way to 240 volts uh, AC, uh, 160 hertz or 50 hertz. It's a very adaptable power supply. Um, nothing's particularly dangerous. Um, you, can, you can, of course, touch. You can touch the... Uh, tubes and um, you know attract the uh, attract the plasma to your to your fingers uh, so they're safe they're safe for human beings to handle uh, the high voltage is impossible to get shocked by unless you really try and it's not dangerous it's just mildly uncomfortable if you were able to get your fingers down into this little crack right here which is not easy to do and that's by design uh, these tubes can be lifted out of their sockets. I'm not going to do that right now just because I'm trying to hold the camera. But the tubes are interchangeable. They have no electrodes. They have uh, no, uh, nothing really holding them in. They can be simply lifted out. They lift out through the, uh, the nice hole that is uh, provided uh, um, up at the top. You'll notice up here at the, at the top we have this little support. You can just lift the tube up in there and then drop the bottom out and you can exchange a green tube for a blue tube using the same power supply or uh, you know if I if I make different colored ones in the future you can uh, avail yourself of those using the same same power supply. Uh, as, to for, as to how these mount on the wall I use what's called a French cleat and we'll come over here we'll, we'll get to see see that maybe just barely uh, it's a two-part thing. One part is permanently affixed to the acrylic and the other part is uh, one that you attach to the wall using whatever fasteners are appropriate for the wall material, uh, whether that's concrete anchors or uh, 
uh, wood screws or, or you know what have you. Uh, this happens to be mounted into one of these is mounted into a stud in my wall and the other is mounted into uh, uh, just a drywall anchor. But very easy to hook up. You could do it yourself. Anyway, uh, any questions about these? Uh, a number of them are available for purchase. Um, if you're interested, uh, they make great decor pieces in, in darkened interiors. Uh, they have run for uh, uh, a month actually at a restaurant here in Albuquerque as part of a show. So um, they, they are a tried and, and proven technology in that respect. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, some are available. And if you would like them, please get in touch and uh, we can discuss delivery, installation, and so forth. Uh, again, plasma art and uh, some nice, interesting electrodeless discharge tubes that demonstrate the physics and chemistry of reactive gas mixtures. Um, thank you very much.